Hey guys, it's, it's Annabelle, and today we thought it would be super duper fun to show you guys eight, eight different slime recipes. And I actually came up with these recipes by myself in the names and all that. Okay, so the first one is going to be Neapolitan ice cream. I'm going to make this one. So what you'll need is some light glue, baby oil, foaming hand soap, lotion, Daiso clay, and activator. We use Tide. We're going to split the slime into three different slimes. One's going to be white, one's going to be pink, and one's going to be brown. Okay, so let's make the slime. We're using Elmer's white school glue. We're going to add some baby oil. The brand of baby oil we use is Johnson's. Then we're going to add a tiny bit of foaming hand soap. We're using Method. Then we're going to add some suave lotion. Now we're going to mix it all together. <laughs> You're really getting in there. <laughs> and excuse this, we're in our garage because my mom doesn't like us making slime in the house. Okay, once you have it all mixed in, we are going to activate. So we made this slime a little extra sticky so we can put Daiso clay. Here is almost a full block. We use some of it in our Christmas lunch. Go to those videos, they're really fun. So we made the slime and it's so nice. We are going to split it into three parts and then add our food dyes. We have our three parts. That one is going to remain white and we are gonna dye these the um, brown and pink. I added the brown and now I'm mixing it in. So we made the chocolate and it's nice and, well, chocolatey. Now we are going to dye this one pink. The pink is a little bit too dark, but you know. So we're gonna put, so we have pink in the bottom, now we're gonna put white. And next and final is chocolate. That's like the perfect amount. Oh, it's awesome. Alright, so we are going to be making a slushy slime next. We're going to call it <laughs> Unit Crunch instead of Unicorn. So it's going to be Unicorn Inspired. So this will need clear glue. We use Craft Smart and we got it at Michael's. We're going to be adding these Unicorn Flakes. They're iridescent and gorgeous. We're going to need Tide, Slushy Bee. And to make it more unicorny, I'm going to be adding this nail confetti and then a unicorn charm. So first thing you want to do is pour in the clear glue. It's a very simple recipe. So we're going to add these unicorn flakes and that also will make it kind of crunchy. And then we're going to add some of this nail confetti. So I'm just going to pour some of that in. Ooh, it's so pretty. And now I'm going to add my activator. All right, so the slime is finished. So I'm just gonna add in some slushy beads a little at a time because I don't add too much. I love making slushy slimes. For some reason, we're just really good at it. Okay, that's good. My next slime is a foam, and it's called Citrus Crunch. So the ingredients you'll need is white glue, clay glue, and baby oil, a little bit of pink dye, and a little bit of orange dye. And then we're going to use yellow foam balls and magenta foam balls. First, you're going to add a little bit of your white glue. Then you want to add a little bit of your clear glue. <laughs> Next, we're going to add a little bit of baby oil. Oh gosh. We're going to add a little bit of pink. Now we're 
gonna mix it up. Okay, now we have a nice orange sunset -y coral. We are going to activate. The slime is finished. We are gonna put in our yellow and magenta foam balls into this bowl and put the slime into it. So the next slime is going to be a really thick, glossy slime, and I'm going to be dyeing it green and calling it Green Apple Starburst. So the ingredients you'll need is white glue, clear glue, lotion, bib oil, Tide, and whatever color you want, I'm using green food dye. So first thing you want to do is pour in your white glue. We're like almost out. We have another gallon though because it's going to be a thick slime. Starburst are chewy and thick. Now I'm gonna add the baby oil, nice and thick. Lots of lotion makes it stretchy. We mix this together before we add the food dye. Now I'm gonna add the green food dye, one drop. I added my desired amount of food coloring. It's like a really electric green. And now I'm just gonna activate and you want to add a little bit more activator than usual so that's a little you don't want to overactivate it but you do want to make it a little bit more tough because when you let it um like sit it'll become it'll melt down just a little bit and it'll become super thick it's already pretty cookie um the slime is done and it's a little bit rippy and rubbery The next slime is a fishbowl slime, and it is called Pink Lemonade. The main ingredients you'll need is clear glue, baby oil, and activator. Pink fishbowl beads, yellow glitter, iridescent glitter, and yellow food dye. So we're going to add our clear glue. Then we're going to add just a little bit of baby oil. Now we are going to add our food dye. Now we're going to add a little bit of yellow glitter. The effect I'm going for is a light sparkle around the slime. So now we're only going to add a little bit of iridescent. Now we are going to activate. So I put on the sweatshirt because I was really cold. And now we, the slime has activated and I'm going to put in these fishbowl beads. These pink fishbowl beads are going to be the pink lemonade part of it. Because it's yellow slime with pink fishbowls. The next slime I'm going to be making is Love Struck Slime. And it's a really simple slime. So the main ingredients you'll need is glue and activator. To make it love struck slime, we're going to be adding pink dye, these light pink and light purple like heart glitters, to be like hearts for love and stuff. Then I'm going to be adding a tiny, tiny bit of this magenta fine glitter and these little um, metal balls, one for texture just for fun. I don't know, I just thought they'd be really fun to add my brother got them for me from an art store. Now I'm going to be adding some pink dye. There. It'll goes a long way with that pink dye. And this pink is more of like a magenta-y pink, which is what I really like about it. I'm going to add a tiny bit of this magenta glitter. Alright. 
That's gorgeous. Now I'm going to add in these hearts. I'm going to do the purple one. These light pinkish ones. They're like really light pink. Okay, I'm going to mix this up. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Last thing I'm going to add are these metal balls. start activating. The slime is all done. The next slime I'm going to be making is cotton candy. The main ingredients you'll need is white glue, lotion, and Tide. I'm going to dye it blue and then put pink foam beads in it. Then we're going to add some lotion. Now we are going to dye it blue. Now you're going to mix it. Now we're going to activate. So here's the slime. It's really nice and good. The last slime we're going to be teaching you how to make is microbead slime. And we're going to be calling it blackberry smoothie. So you're going to need clear glue, Tide, microbead, and I'm also going to be adding a little bit of bigger white bead. Then to make it a blackberry smoothie, I'm going to be adding a little bit of purple and a little bit of black. You want to start by adding your clear glue. Now I'm going to be adding first a tiny, tiny drop of black. I'm just going to add some purple. So now I'm just going to activate the slime. The slime is activated and pretty sticky, which is great for all the microbeads I'm going to add. How many ounces is this? And now I'm going to add a little bit of these bigger beads. So I'm just going to... Can I feel it now? See you guys next time on It's Annabelle.